See, this example, this is one example where analyst and many people are saying Mat Sabu is not competent. Now, Mat Sabu may not be a high degree, but he's a great leader. He's an admirable leader. But he may not have the neck to run this ministry. Okay, now I have a message for Prime Minister. Okay, when you form the government, you were forced to form the government together with the Kleptocrat Party. Uh, semua kena tubuhkan peranjang perpaduan. Why? Because we are so fragmented, could not form a government. But kudos, uh, congratulations to all of you. You guys form government. Record time. Agong brokered it. Salutation and hormat pada Agong. You guys did it. Uh, and despite all the detractors who are trying to bring down the government, they could not. And now, and you had at one time, two-thirds majority. Because of Zaid Medi NAA case, Syed Sadiq pull out, dia mula memfitnah macam-macam kat government ni. Uh, but doesn't matter lah, they're out. But there is a blessing in this guys, silver lining. Syed Sadiq is not joining Perikatan Nasional. He's not that, about that. He is apparently championing good governance. As greenhorn as it may, uh, you got to also salute him for his idealism lah. Even though it may not be reasonable. Tetapi, uh, he will stand and support whatever reform, whatever that's good, dia akan support. So whatever you get the buy-in of Muda, Muda will support and you will get that two-third punya uh, uh, apa ni, boost to push through uh, whatever reforms you want to do. Okay, so for all intent purposes, this government does stable. So the issue of stability dah habis dah. All the six states election dah habis, by election dah habis. So that's already water under the bridge. So sekarang ni, the Madani government and PMX, you guys have four and a half years to do what is right to put the country back to the right trajectory. Ekonomi kita, currency kita yang merundum, unemployment, krisis makanan, 3R issues, race, religion and royalty punya isu, religious extremism, all these need to be handled. Okay, rule of law, transparency, independence of the judiciary, legislature and apa ni, uh, executive. Huh? Semua ni kena diperbetulkan. Banyak, a lot of work needs to be done. PMX cannot be doing everything alone. Bawa masuk FDS saja pun alone. You need a competent team. You need a formidable team. Loyal, cohesive and talented. Okay, so sekarang ni dah berapa bulan dah, sebelah bulan dah. So now by now, if PMX is worthy of the shoe he's in, uh, he is a man of metal, you should already know now siapa kompeten, siapa tak kompeten. Okay, now sekarang ni, enough of pandering to mana-mana puak, mana-mana quarters. Tak payah dah. You tak payah bother about sentiment sangat dah. Focus now on doing the right thing. This is my advice. You got four and a half years to do the right thing. Sekarang ni orang menyumpah lah kata PM teruk ke apa ke. Whatever lah. As long as you tak menzalimi. As long as you still put your ears on the ground and dengar sentiments and consider and evaluate. Tapi you tak payah pander dah kepada siapa-siapa. Enough. Now is time to work. And you begin now, kalau you shuffle the cabinet, you shuffle, you ganti, you get competent people now. Because you need a competent team. Kalau tak competent, if you don't have a visionary education minister, you cannot put the education right. Kita punya skills, kita punya talents of kita punya future generations, semua at stake. Okay, and whatever penerapan agama di sekolah, apa yang diajar? Islam macam mana tu? Religious extremism in school, ataupun... You nak terap ni nilai Al-Quran dalam pelajaran Islam supaya setiap budak Melayu wholesome, spiritual semua isi, bukan just ritualistik saja. That's education. Nampak? Menteri perpaduan macam mana? So, you tengok saat now, all the menteri-menteri semua yang mana yang tak perform, tak sepatutnya mereka teruk. Mereka mungkin kualiti mereka lain. 
Mungkin kualiti dia pakai tempat lain Macam Mat Sabu Excellent Admirable leader Tapi dia tak ada technical skills Tak ada knowledge Kalau aku Jadi aku Mat Sabu aku kursi dia buat Menteri Perpaduan ke Menteri Agama ke He can do a good job there He can unite people People respect his leadership Okay Itu satu Lepas tu kita tengok lagi apa-apa lagi lah Kan Menteri Ekonomi ke Menteri Whatever Menteri semua You tengok Whatever you need shuffle You shuffle Zahid Kalau dia dah buat kerja yang dia buat tu Sekarang ni Okay Leave him be ha? Apa ni ha, Fadilah Dia sebut tu look itu Sabah Let him be Tapi the rest yang you patut shuffle Shuffle Get the right people You should be Ruthless in what you do here Because If you are not Tough On your team Then the rakyat The voters will be tough on you come GE16. This is my message to PMX. Nak dengar, dengar lah. Tak mau dengar, doesn't matter. A new PM will come and replace and they may just do this thing. Exactly that. You kena take the bulls by its horns and do what is right now and just pacu tengok depan saja. Tak payah tengok belakang lagi dah. Jangan peduli to pander here ke pander there ke tak payah. You are not trying to win any votes. The only votes that matter now is G16 punya vote. And at that point of time, we the voters will take a look where we are at. Kita punya ekonomi, kita punya kesejahteraan hidup, kita punya kemakmuran, kita punya harmoni, kita punya standing globally. Where are we at? Where have we taken the country at the time when you menang GE15, sekarang ni dah nak GE16? Where have you taken us? That is enough testimony. Doesn't matter orang nak fitnah ke apakah. Boleh fitnah apa pun sekarang. Tapi the truth will be known dekat dengan GE16. By that time, siapa yang dah sakar duit, better be in jail ready. Siapa yang lain tak boleh, tak boleh, tak boleh apa ni. Uh, let no kleptocrats walk free. Uh, revert, bagi investor confidence datang balik. Ringgit kalau strengthen, barang import pun jadi murah. Harga makanan dan penghidupan pun jadi murah. Kita punya tourism naik balik. Uh, foreign investments. Ekonomi kita pesat balik. This is what we look at. Quality of education kita bertambah better. Quality of kita punya medical. Medicaid, apa ni. Hospitalization. Uh, perubatan kita better. We have more competent people. Ikut footsteps of China. Where was China 10, 20 years ago? Where are they now? Almost everybody is skillful. Semua orang boleh cakap English. They have been so advanced. They are so um, prosperous now. Huh? Tengok presiden dia macam mana? Look at Indonesia. What did they do? They don't have to manage dah. Sebelum ni, I don't blame lah PMX. Dia kena handle. You tahu lah orang macam mana. Uh, the racist, the extremism, the kind of opposition we have. Tapi itu dah sudah dah. So now, reset now. Do what's right. To the best you can. Embrace meritocracy. To the best you can. Nobody is telling you to... Forsake affirmative action on Malays. Don't, tak apa. Itu you continue. But there so many talented Malays. A apply meritocracy bagi pada Melayu-Melayu yang competent to hold the job. Ha? non Malays ke, uh, India ke, China ke, Sabah ke, Sarawak ke. Doesn't matter. Dia Malaysian. Kalau dia boleh buat, jangan kira gender, jangan kira umur, jangan kira kaum, jangan kira agama. Just give the job to the person who is most dedicated, jujur and talented. Semua rakyat Malaysia, we want to build this country. Build a better Malaysia. You do this, you lead this nation towards glory. InsyaAllah, another term, you will still be PM. This is my message to PM Anwar. Uh, ambil lah macam mana nak ambil pun. Nak ambil constructively ke? Nak offended ke? Or just to delete and campak dan buat apa? No problem. This is my clearance call as a rakyat marhain. Okay? I do not know whether rakyat marhain lain sama dengan I ke tak. All depends. Kalau ramai setuju what I'm asking this PM to do, what this government to do, then this voice note will go around. If it just stays there, you takkan dengar pun. Don't worry. Assalamualaikum. Selamat malam.